Prof. Roos Virology. I'm going to cover herpes, viruses, numbers 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to call it Hercules Herpes. Okay, so there's Hercules, and he's going to get herpes. And he's got it on his mouth and on his genitals. So think about it. When you meet a girl, you're going to kiss her before you have sex with her. So HSV1 is going to be on the mouth, and HSV2 is going to be on the genitals. So he has gingival for gum stomatitis for the mouth inflammation, and herpes labialis for the lips. And then down below, that's where herpes genitalis and also neonatal herpes will be from because it's the genitals. And then for number three, we got three cute little chickens down here. So that's going to be our chicken pox or our shingles later on in life. Varicella zoster virus. Also, if you did not pick up on this already, you'll notice the dew drops on the rose petal appearance. That's characteristics of the herpes virus, and you can see that up top as well. Okay, and here's the temple. It's crushing his head, and there's one eye at the top, and if you notice the eye, it's a piece of a carrot. So one temple, which means HSV1, uh, most common cause temporal lobe encephalitis and one eye which means HSV1 with carrot coming from keratoconjunctivitis. conjunctivitis and then I just put a donut he likes to eat donuts because the capsid is donut shaped which is called toroid you can think of like a Taurus or a Trojan horse in Hercules time also I put three gems on there which means HSV1 in the trigeminal ganglia trigem three gems and then down there it's around his ball sac so sacral ganglia okay now here's a bomb and it's all wrapped up which reminds you that this DNA when it gets its nuclear envelope it's uh, sorry when it gets its envelope it's gonna be from the nucleus so a nuclear bomb and it's all wrapped up as opposed to the other DNA viruses which get them from the plasma membrane he's chained down the chain is to remind you of how you're going to test for this virus by a polymerase chain reaction. And there's two chains for two DNA strands. The tank and lots of bombs because it sounds like tank test to zinc test, multiple bombs for multiple nucleate giant cells. Just to reemphasize the bomb points in the tank. And we got these three cowards hiding up here. They're scared of him in the tanks multiple carrots, so there's lots of intracellular cowdry A inclusions. Now for treatment, there's a bicycle here with a great break in the chain. Great, mind you, of guanine, a cycle for acyclovir and valcyclovir. Valcyclovir is more um, orally bioavailable. It's better for taken by the mouth. And famcyclovir, but Famcyclovir would be better given for uh, the varicella zoster virus, the H HV number three. So think of like a family of chicks down there. And also, acyclovir is monophosphorylated by the herpes virus thymidine kinase. So just remember thigh, uh, like herpes thigh, a strong thigh. So thymidine kinase phosphorylation. And that's it.